hey everybody, welcome back to Ken Folk Farm. <laughs> it has been an absolute awesome day. Uh, we had a little drizzle. Uh, it's cool. The grapes are just coming on. And I'm picking them in these big clusters like I, I like. It's really easy to grab just a big handful of super ripe grapes. I've uh, been selling these to the fruit stand down the road from our house. And he can't get enough. So it's been working out great. Uh, eating <laughs> about, what, about half of what I pick. Uh, they're so sweet, so delicious. I love these Supreme Muscadines. They're fantastic. Had a good time last night. Yesterday was opening day of our deer season, our archer season here in Georgia. And uh, turned out good. Seam one, a uh, little spike. But for you new guys, here, <laughs> here in our county, in Merriweather, uh, they have to have four points on one side to be legal. It's a, we're, we live in a trophy county, so we're not allowed to shoot spikes. Uh, we can get 10 does. I mean, we can literally shoot every doe we see. They're, we get 10. We're allowed 10 and two bucks, uh, but one. They have to have four points on one side before you can shoot them. So it was fun to get out and, and get our season started. I was excited to get out and just watch a deer that was the absolute most paranoid deer i've ever seen <laughs> when that feeder went off and that joker took off running it cracked me up it was really fun uh, had a great time hunting season is upon us and we're trying to pick as many grapes as we can i skipped hunting this morning uh, so i can get out here and try to pick as many as i can before they go bad and i have a goal that i'm trying to meet every day i try to pick 10 of these baskets every day uh, to keep my fruit stand guy loaded and uh, to make a certain amount of money every day <laughs> look at the size of that grape that joker is giant that is a big grape well speaking of, of hunting season the cold weather is about to be on us it's about to get cold and like i say it will come quick the cold weather will come really quick and we need to start getting prepared for the cold winter i since our house burnt down i'm having to repurchase everything for hunting season it has been the most expensive hunting season ever for me so whenever somebody asks if i will do a collaboration or a re review of something i could use for hunting season i'm getting it and uh, i was asked by okupa to check out their rechargeable hand warmers and see what i thought about them who y'all feel that <laughs> that breeze y'all hear that i know you don't feel it but I was asked by Okupa to check out their rechargeable hand warmers and see what I thought about them. I've never used um, a hand warmer whatsoever, but I thought these would be good in my backpack this year to give these things a try. All right. Well, I just turned them on, and they're already getting really, really hot. Uh, they have three settings, uh, high, medium, low. And I would think the higher the, the heat setting, uh, the faster the charge would go. But these things, you can charge them up, and you can also use these to, uh, after they're charged, you can use them to charge your cell phones and any other little device you need charged up. Uh, they're just an awesome little little thing to have in your hunting bag. And I got it on uh, the lowest setting. I got it on one, and they are already hot. I mean, they are hot on the back side. They're really hot. They'd be nice in your in your jacket pockets or something. As you're sitting in your tree stand or if you're on a hike uh, or doing anything outside, these things are really awesome. I say again, I've never owned any. Uh, and thanks, uh, Okupa, for sending these to me. They're really awesome little hand warmers. Uh, it's got three settings. I had it, let's see, setting two, setting three on high. And I mean, they get hot super fast. Now, I, I, I have used the hot hands, those little shakeable bags. I have used those before, and they work great. This little joker here is cooking. That thing is cooking. These will be fantastic in your hunting bag. If you haven't got any, go check them out on Amazon. Uh, I say again, I'll put the link in the description. These little jokers are going to be great for hunting season. I hope you guys go check them. And they were really affordable, too. I don't think they were much at all. Boy, on three, they will light your hands up. 
<clears throat> they are hot. <laughs> They're really hot. But I'll keep you guys posted during the season how these things work because, uh, like I say again, I had to buy a brand new hunting bag and I'm having to restock it with all my hunting gear. Uh, since we had the house fire, we've lost everything. Thank goodness for my son. I'm getting to use some of his rifles this year. Uh, we, I, I did save my crossbow, so I'll be using my crossbow during archery season. I had to buy uh, my daughter and my, and my grandson uh, crossbows this year because all their stuff burned up too. They kept it over here. That joker is hot. That this These things are amazing. I'm just sitting here talking. Uh, these things are fire hot. They almost feel like they're not supposed to be that hot. <laughs> Like I say, I've never used any of these before, but my gosh, that is going to be great this winter. I really like these things. The Okupa Rechargeable Hand Warmers with three heat settings. These things are going to be amazing. They're almost, <laughs> they almost feel like they're dangerously too hot. I like them. So go check these guys out. They were super nice to send these to me. Uh, I, I always feel like whenever I do a little review video, I don't do them justice. Uh, but I do use them. I've done boots and done all sorts of uh, little review videos for folks. And I put them to the test. The, the, say, for instance, the boots I've got, I wear them every day. All day, every day if I'm outside. Good gracious, these jokers are hot. These things are awesome. That's on number three. That's on high. And I think the highest, uh, if you leave it on the highest set, I want to say it lasts three hours, uh, but I think the charge is up to eight hours uh, on the lowest setting, and the lowest setting was really warm, but I can't even hardly hold that in my hand. That is amazing. So if you guys are ready for winter, especially you guys up north, down here in this, uh, mid Georgia, we don't we don't hardly get a winter. <laughs> so, but these are going to be great. All right. Well, we may have one more weekend left. Uh, for you guys that are thinking about coming out, uh, the grapes are going quick. First of all, they're getting picked like crazy. And I've been uh, attacking these Supreme because that's what I've been selling uh, to my fruit stand man down the road. He loves the Supreme. He doesn't want the Isons because they don't store up all that well. But uh, he can store those Supreme in his cooler. So I've been bringing lots of Supreme. I wanted to show you all what I got in the truck. I got 10, 10 uh, big crates in the truck now. And I'm going to pick maybe two more uh, before it gets a little later because I want to go hunting again this evening. It just feels beautiful. It feels like fall. It just feels so nice out. Uh, the whole vineyard has the best smell ever. These grapes are so, they're just so ripe that they're busting. They're starting to crack. Uh, so like I say, next weekend will probably be our last weekend. If you guys are wanting to come out, I would uh, say next weekend you need to come out or this coming weekend this when this video comes out the weekend that's coming up if you want to come come because uh, we've still got lots of grapes these guys here will be turning I've been picking through them uh, like I say these are the supreme I've been picking through them they're just they're fantastic and uh, the black beauties are turning they're really popping on the vine and uh, giving us a hard time because they're loaded up with bees of every kind. <laughs> Yellow jackets, wasps, bumblebee, you name it, they're in there. I got popped yesterday on the finger by a big brown wasp, uh, and he latched on. I, I had to smack him off, but uh, he got me right on the tip of my finger, and it hurt, and it hurt all day. <laughs> and then Jackson, my littlest grandson, he got stung in the eye, going for a black beauty he went under the vine and one flew down and got him right under the eye uh, i'm not saying don't come pick the black beauty because they're there <laughs> but they it's funny I, all three rows have bees everywhere but all the others don't let me show you see like this is a row of supreme and you just don't see you see some grapes on the ground but just not as many they're just not that many on there they hold to the vine but the black beauty next door see that little bee right there the black beauties are just littered everywhere they're, they're coming off the vine and underneath they're just they loaded in here but the bees are in here too the black beauties are in here they are so see how they're just cracking they're cracking and uh they are absolutely fantastic mm. 
they are they're ridiculous they're so good but like I say one more week this coming weekend Friday, Saturday, Sunday and then I'm closing it down start shaking our fruit off the vines I will keep selling as long as these Supreme are here I will keep picking them for my fruit stand because he wants to sell them all the way up into October so I will keep selling the Supreme which we should have <laughs> plenty 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 of Supreme they are here they are absolutely covered up and uh, you can see the, some of the spots where the leaves are changing it's really really getting nice out here I tell you deer season's here it's fall check this truck out now don't pay no attention to the inside of my truck but look at all these grapes 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 I got them got them down there in the floor got them in the front seat <laughs> it smells good in there yeah boy it smells good in there that's for my dogs <laughs> gotta keep a truckload of bones for your dogs yeah, it smells good in there. All right, we're gonna try to pick two more. I just, I guess I could put them in the back of the truck. But I don't like leaving back here because they're drawing bees and stuff. But stick around. I may take you guys hunting again tonight. Not sure uh, I'm going. So I might, might carry y'all along. Hopefully I get me a deer tonight.
All right, well, now that I've caused a ruckus, I couldn't sit still, <laughs> apparently. And one of them picked me off. There was four come in. That was pretty fun. Uh, nothing I wanted to shoot. And I want to get home and hang out with Kim. I want to eat dinner. And uh, I didn't want to shoot anything tonight. I wanted to get some video footage. Now, if, I, if that eight pointer or that ten pointer would have showed up, we would have. That would have been different. Uh, but those little does. It's a long hunting season, and uh, I'm trying to save this little spot for my grandson. And, uh, I was hoping they would come tonight. Mason and Jack. They both wanted to hunt with me, but they didn't make it tonight. But uh, <laughs> one of them was stuck down there, and that Joker spotted me moving. I keep having a habit of looking. My driveway's right behind me. My driveway's right here behind me, and. Uh, the, the mom, the little doe and the fawn, they came in from across that 44 acres. They crossed the driveway and snuck it in here behind me. Most of them come from this little section over here to my left. But that was fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do me a favor and go check out that uh, those hand warmers we talked about earlier. Those things were super awesome. They were really cool for sending those to me uh, right here in the nick of time for hunting season. So go check those out. I'm going to leave a, a link uh in the description so go check them out they're super inexpensive and you can put them in your pack cold weather's coming those things worked ridiculously well they were really really nice but thanks again guys love you to death look forward to more of these hunting videos because we're going to get some deer on video this year I'm, i am ready to get in these woods this year uh, the muscadine season is going great deer season is going to go just as well thank you so much for checking out my video see you on the next one